So a bit of a serious message and lesson here today. I've been keeping bees roughly almost 10 years. Never had a single case of foul brood. Um, I'm even on uh, a DASH, which is uh, a disease accreditation scheme that I've done through Animal Plant and Health. So I've been taught how to spot the disease and what everything looks like and um, etc. And just last week, doing the weekly inspections as normal, and at a particular site, I was going through the bees. Everything looked fine. I came up to this one hive, opened it up, started going through the frames, and I knew straight away that there was American foul brood in that colony. Now, it was a big, strong colony. had five full supers of honey on it, and that's gone down with AFB. Now, the next part of the story is something that I'd never thought that I would have to do as a bee farmer. So I took a frame, I sent that up to York, that's where the, the government laboratory is, that's where they test for disease etc. I sent the frame up there, they phoned me back up and confirmed that it was AFB and that that hive now had to be destroyed. Now because I've been trained up on the DASH scheme, I'm allowed to take care of the disease myself so that's exactly what I did uh, and the, the way you do it is you get a pint of petrol and you wait till it's dark so all the bees are back inside the hive then you tip the petrol down into the hive that kills all the bees and you've got to dig a hole then about 18 inches deep then you've got to burn all the frames. Now I burnt all the bees, I burnt all the honey, and that's literally what I've got left now is just the empty beehive. Now I've done a lot of tough things, <coughs> being a ranger, farming, living out in the countryside, etc. for all my life. You know, I've had to put animals down, etc. You know, ones that you can't save on the farm due to illnesses or just <coughs> acts of God, just animals going into old age etc but I've got to say killing a full colony of honeybees is probably up there with one of the hardest things that I've had to do and um, luckily on that site this is just one case uh, I've gone through all the bees there and just as a precaution I've asked the, uh, the government animal plant and health just to come in to get a second pair of eyes on things just to make sure that uh, that is isolated just to the one hive. Now, where I keep bees in uh, this part of Wales, this part of the UK, uh, I mean it's quite a good area, <coughs> foul brood, uh, the cases is very low compared to some parts of uh, England where big bee farming, industry, pollination, crops etc exist. Uh, you know, I don't migrate to beekeep, so I don't move my bees into different areas and move them back. So this site was a standalone site, and uh, you can pick AFB up or even any type of uh, foul brood. It could be American or European, uh, just like that. Now, because I was a careful beekeeper, kept everything clean, etc., I thought that there was no chance whatsoever that I was going to catch foul brood. But it just goes to show that even a big strong colony can get it. And th this is what happens, okay? So I've got a, or you've got a strong colony of bees somewhere to thrive in. Now, a couple of miles away, or maybe a couple of hundred meters away, there's another colony of bees there. And they're not thriving. They've got AFB, EFB, and they're slowly but surely dying. Now, nature being nature, a strong colony of bees will come across pretty much an empty hive and they'll just start robbing the honey from that hive and bring it back to their own hive. Now if that hive that they're robbing is infected with foul brood then the bees robbing that hive will get the foul brood. So it doesn't matter how careful or what kind of biosecurity measures you've got in place you've still got a chance of getting foul brood. So, 
just to close this video up quick because uh, since I started uh, my bee farming business I've been open and transparent um, with everything how I extract honey how I keep bees etc and uh, up until today it's just been sharing all the good times uh, but unfortunately when you're farming there, uh, there can be some bad times as well and um, I've experienced that now this is the first time I've experienced really bad times uh, bee farming then luckily touch wood it's just down to the one hive uh, but still you know killing your own bees uh, is not something that sits well doesn't go down very well and um, I hope you as a beekeeper watching this that uh, you'll never have to go through this yourself so the most important thing that you can do if you're keeping bees in the UK is you sign up to Bee Base so that's the government website so that we know exactly where all the beehives are so if one colony somewhere gets foul brood then all those colonies surrounding the area can get inspected and make sure that the disease doesn't spread any further and uh, that's the best way to keep on top of foul brood uh, you just got to destroy it where you find it the ministry then the government will scout within that area and make sure that it's not anywhere else hopefully they can find the source where it's come from and uh, they, they can close the case as easy as that in uh, most cases so if you're not sure of what bee base is I'll put the, the link in the description below for you to have a look at it but uh, I highly recommend uh, that you do that whether you're just keeping one hive, two hives or you're a, a bee farming operation like me um, because not only is that protecting yourself but that's of protecting the other beekeepers and bee farmers around your area as well so no intro uh, funny talk today um, just wanted to share the, the dark side of beekeeping as such it's, it's not just all honey and uh, with any type of farming uh, case you, you do get bad news and I try and <coughs> compare this so with the, with the TB in the cows so when the farmer gets TB one of his cows it's exactly the same process the government says that you've got to dispatch that cow and that cow's got to come off the farm and then that farm is on a standstill and all the cows get checked to make sure everything is clear now <coughs> foul brood is managed by the government in exactly the same way as TB uh, when you get foul brood that site is on a standstill nothing in nothing out um, and uh, you just got to sit it out until everything's clear now currently I know that sites the rest of the sites are clear with me uh, just because I've been taught what to look for um, but it's even though uh, that you, in the same situation as me you dash accredited even though I'd recommend if you find foul brood get the animal plant and health bee inspectors out just to double check just to make sure because even though I know what I'm looking for I'm not doing it every single day I'm not seeing that disease every single day the bee inspectors are out there they're inspecting the hives are seeing disease on a regular basis they're going to pick it up much quicker than I would or maybe you so that's it for today thanks for watching